Well, we're lost. We're in the old town of Xia He, uh, the old Tibetan town. Maybe go up here. And um, it's a big tourist town, but we kind of got away from the tourist area. There's a giant monastery that everybody goes to. And we're trying to get up to one of these peaks. There's supposed to be a hiking path that goes up to the top, but we can't seem to find it. Uh, it's pretty cool little alleys, but I don't feel like we're getting lost, we're getting deeper and deeper into no man's land. It's a bit of a path going up here. We'd at least be able to see maybe. We've been wandering for maybe an hour. Oh, this is cool. That's got to be the path we want. But how to get there? I think this is the path. I think. But we're exhausted. It took us a while to find it. So I don't know if we're going to head all the way up there. That's what we were lost in. We managed to find our way to this trail. Got a gun. Yeah, it's going up. Said I get a gun. Now it's going up. Know that you ain't going. Let's you one of us. Why the fuck you think? Should be going up. Sipping on the. Huh. Now I'm going up. Feel like I just blink. And we going up. Pray that they don't think. That they going up. Don't say you was down. When I'm going up. So we didn't make it to the top yet, but we certainly made it high enough for a beautiful view. Are you getting attacked over there? Cicadas. They sound deadly. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Tibet, the Tibetan people. Um, it's kind of a difficult issue. Um, I have to be careful what I say. I have to watch my words because I live in China and there's certain things that I shouldn't be talking about. But I can give you some facts, such as in 1951, the Chinese government, they took over Tibet. And um, at the time, there wasn't a country in the world that recognized it as an independent state. The people in control at that time were also the religious leaders. They were exiled to India, uh, and they're still there now. So prior to the takeover, the Chinese always kind of used Tibet as a buffer between them and Nepal. Um, you know, Nepal would try to invade, and they had that area there where they could send troops in and basically keep the peace. They, they kept the peace in Tibet for a long time, but then nationalism rose as uh, imperialism started to happen. You know, Hong Kong was taken over by the Brits. The Brits actually invaded Tibet in 1904. It's hard for me to say exactly what they believe, what their opinions are, what the government is trying to do, but um, the sense that I get from the things I read, the people I talk to, is that, you know, this is an area that was like really poor, uneducated. At that time, when the Chinese took over, there was slavery in Tibet, there was torture, and the average life expectancy was 36 years. Um, the illiteracy rate was 95%. Um, now, I don't know how true all these facts are. Um, the BBC reported some of them, others were reported by the Chinese media, which, um, yeah. The Chinese went there, they opened schools, literacy rates have dropped, life expectancy is shot up and they're trying to help them kind of modernize. The problem with that is they're kind of erasing the Tibetan culture. The language, the religion, it's being lost. And yeah, there are places like this that have, you know, this is a Tibetan town, there's monasteries, but it, it's really turned into a bit of a tourist attraction. The difference between the, a city that's populated by the Han, the Chinese Han people, there's a huge difference. The poverty levels, the education, you know, Chinese people come here and they see that, they see that the people maybe need help, the people need to modernize to get out of this poverty and they want to educate them and the only way they know how to do that is through the Chinese way, the Chinese language um, and what can I say? You can see the modern side of the town there, but all that there, all this, that's all the monastery. Here's the path back. We go all the way down there, hit that road, back into town. We did it. Check the stats. 
My shit doubled in a month, I'm just stating facts And you know it just begun, I ain't going back Could've stayed inside the class, but where'd you go with that? People saying we gon' pop like some soda caps You can check the right, bitch, you know the deal With that stressing face, smoking just to chill In them darker days, used to have to wait I just boost my state with a drink, learning not to think